I've been trying to expand my hotel horizons this year, and right now I'm at the Alila Hotel in the traditional scenic water town of Wujen, a couple of hours outside of Shanghai. Now, Alila Hotels is part of the ever-growing Hyatt Hotels portfolio. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Hyatt Hotels, how Canadians can maximize staying at Hyatt Hotels even though there isn't a co-branded credit card issued in Canada. And then I'll also talk about some of the brands under the Hyatt portfolio and take you around for a tour of the Alila Wujin right here. Consider this an introduction to Hyatt Hotels if you've never thought about staying with Hyatt before. Now I will say that I'm somebody who has been largely loyal to staying with Marriott's and Hilton Hotels before this year when I actually started trying to stay with Hyatt Hotels a little bit more. And so even though sometimes we do videos where I'm speaking from a place of expertise, in this video, I'm also learning with you guys. I'm also being introduced to the program as we go along over the past weeks and months as I first started to stay with Hyatt as well. Now, if you like this style of video, if you've been enjoying seeing some travel content on this channel, including learning about how you two can travel better once the pandemic is over, or if you just think that this garden villa here at the Alila Wujin looks really nice, then go ahead and hit the like button down below. That really helps the video's performance here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's get started. Now, I think it would be useful to begin with a bit of context as to the positioning of Hyatt hotels among the major global hotel chains. In the United States of America, Hyatt Hotels and the World of Hyatt Loyalty Program are hugely popular because they're a transfer partner from Chase Ultimate Rewards and there's a co-branded credit card issued by Chase. However, in Canada, there's no co-branded credit card, there's no transfer partner, and I would say that Hyatt therefore takes a backseat to Marriott Bonvoy as a result. Having said that, Hyatt Hotels and the World of Hyatt Program can still play a role for Canadians who are looking to diversify their hotel rewards strategy especially if you're somebody who has a taste for the finer things in life because Hyatt hotels are generally known for their better service and their better quality compared to Marriott and Hilton. Let's begin with earning and redeeming points for free hotel stays. Now, just like Marriott Bonvoy, World of Hyatt has a published award chart that shows you how many points you're gonna need for a free night at different categories of Hyatt hotels. From 5,000 Hyatt points for a category one hotel all the way up to 40,000 Hyatt points for a top tier category eight hotel. Now category eight only encompasses a handful of the small luxury hotels of the world boutique brand that recently joined the Hyatt portfolio. So for most intents and purposes, you can think of the award chart as capping out at category seven, requiring 30,000 Hyatt points per night for a free night. So now we kind of have a sense that we'll need about 20,000 World of Hyatt points for a Category 5 mid-range property, about 30,000 World of Hyatt points for a top tier Category 7, maybe a Park Hyatt in one of the world's best cities. How do we actually go about earning Hyatt points? And that brings me back to what I mentioned at the start of the video, which is for most Canadians, there's no really easy way to rack up a huge quantity of Hyatt points without actually going through the trouble of getting US credit cards or actually staying with Hyatt hotels and paying cash for those stays. With World of Hyatt, their only banking partner is Chase in the US. So we do need to go through the trouble of getting US credit cards, and in particular Chase credit cards, a little bit later down the road, because Chase wants to see a little bit longer of a credit history before approving you in order to meaningfully earn points in the World of Hyatt program through our credit cards. Now, if you're somebody who has gotten started with US credit cards, or perhaps you're a US-based viewer of the channel, and you're interested in staying with Hyatt hotels a little bit more, then absolutely consider adding the Chase Hyatt Visa card to your wallet. The Chase Hyatt Visa card is one of those cards that simply makes sense to hold on to forever once you've applied for it, because it gives you a category one to four free night award every single year that you renew the card, which more than outweighs the 95 US dollar annual fee. The card will also give you World of Hyatt's entry level discover status for as long as you hold the card, an extra five elite qualifying nights with Hyatt every year, and the ability to earn two extra elite qualifying nights for every 5,000 US dollars that you spend on the card. Now, right now, the welcome bonus actually isn't the strongest we've seen on the card, in my opinion. It says up to 60,000 Hyatt points, but 30,000 of that is actually delivered in the form of two bonus points for every dollar you spend on non-bonus purchases. So really it's more of a 45,000 point offer. And as somebody who's eligible to apply for the World of Hyatt card now, because I'm under the Chase 524 rule, I'm actually waiting around a little bit to see if a better offer comes along before I apply for the card. And once I do, 
I'll definitely be making a full review video about the Chase Hyatt Visa card in order to summarize my experiences with that product. For now though, I wanted to briefly touch upon the elite status program within World of Hyatt. There's three tiers to the elite status. 10 nights earns you Hyatt Discoverist status, 30 nights earns you Hyatt Explorist status, and 60 nights earns you top tier Hyatt Globalist status. Now for the year of 2021, Hyatt had actually made it very easy for people to qualify for status. They've halved these requirements, meaning that only 30 nights will get you top tier Hyatt Globalist status. And furthermore, there was also a promotion at the start of the year that earned you double elite qualifying nights for your stays, which meant that many of us were able to qualify for Globalist with only 15 nights stayed. That's exactly how I had earned Hyatt Globalist status for 2021 and 2022, all the way through to February 2023. That's something I had mentioned in a previous video of mine as well. Discoverer status can be earned simply by having a credit card, although the benefits aren't very meaningful. Explorer status starts to get a little bit more interesting with benefits like late checkout and a room upgrade. And then top tier globalist status is where things get really interesting with free breakfast, lounge access, suite upgrades, and many more types of elite treatment. In fact, it's often said that Hyatt globalist status is one of the most valuable hotel statuses that one can have among the major global hotel chains because Hyatt tends to treat their top tier customers a lot better than Marriott and Hilton do. That's down to Hyatt's more limited footprint. They have fewer hotels around the world, so they do have to work a little bit harder to retain members' loyalty. That's something that I was very much interested in when I decided to give Hyatt Globalist status a try myself. So that's a rundown of how Hyatt's elite status works. Now, there were a few more thoughts that I wanted to share here. Number one, in addition to elite status, World of Hyatt is also pretty unique in terms of offering milestone rewards for earning elite qualifying nights every year. With a program like Marriott Bonvoy, once you've reached platinum or titanium status and you're not gonna attain the next tier, there's no real incentive to continue staying and earning more nights during that year. But with Hyatt, it's different because you can actually earn more rewards the more nights you stay, even if you don't reach the next highest tier. The most interesting milestone rewards are probably the category one to four free night award that you earn upon reaching 30 qualifying nights per year, as well as the category one to seven free night award. Remember, category seven hotels include some of Hyatt's best properties, like the Park Hyatt Paris Vendôme or the Park Hyatt Tokyo, when you reach 60 elite qualifying nights. Also, when you reach 60 elite qualifying nights, you'll earn two suite upgrade awards, which can be used to confirm a suite upgrade well in advance of your stay. And that's another added benefit of World of Hyatt compared to something like Marriott Bonvoy's Suite Night Awards, which can only be used to guarantee a suite upgrade, well, not even guarantee, but only request one five days in advance. Now, the next thing I wanted to mention is that even if you don't have Hyatt Elite status right now, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy some awesome benefits when you actually stay with Hyatt hotels. And that's because you can book through a dedicated service called Hyatt Privé that actually gives you benefits that are often on par with having elite status. Now, Hyatt Privé is the travel advisor program specifically for Hyatt hotels. It's available at all properties under the Park Hyatt, Andes, and Miraval brands, as well as some properties under the other mid-range and luxury Hyatt brands. Now, when you book through Privé, you still pay the same rate as the member rate that you see on the Hyatt website. So you're not paying anything extra compared to the member rate, but you do get extra benefits. These include a one category upgrade to your room or suite, early check-in and late checkout, all subject to availability, daily breakfast for two guests in the hotel's restaurant, as well as an on-property credit of either 50 US dollars or 100 US dollars that you can use towards something like the hotel's spa or the hotel's on-site dining. As you can tell, many of these benefits are already on par with what you would get through having Hyatt Elite status in the first place. So anytime you're considering a Hyatt hotel stay, always check to see if the Hyatt Privé rate is available because you may be able to pay the same amount as you would pay through the regular member rate, but unlock all of these extra benefits at the same time. Remember, Hyatt Privé is a travel advisor program that isn't available to book directly on the Hyatt website. So go ahead and search on Google for a Hyatt Privé travel advisor, or if there are any travel advisors watching this video, feel free to leave your contact info in the comments and any interested viewers can reach out. Now, besides Hyatt Privé, I think there's one more interesting way that you can maximize the World of Hyatt program, even if you don't have the Chase Hyatt Visa card. And that's what's known as Hyatt Brand Explorer, 
which actually rewards you for staying at multiple different brands under the Hyatt portfolio and lets you earn free night awards as a result. Hyatt has a total of 18 different brands under their umbrella. And for every five different brands that you try, you'll earn a category one to four free night award. And so in total, you can earn three free night awards simply by trying different Hyatt brands, whether you're paying for your stay with points or with cash or under the Hyatt Privé program. So even if you aren't willing to go to the lengths to get US credit cards, you can still earn free night awards just by trying out different Hyatt brands. You could, for example, stay at a bunch of low-end Hyatt hotels, get your category one to four free night award, and then use that at one of the lower priced Park Hyatt hotels around the world that's eligible for a category four redemption. And speaking of Hyatt's 18 different hotel brands, in the future, I might do a Marriott style video in which I cover all the brands once I've had the opportunity to try out more of them. For now, I'll talk to you a little bit about some of the brands that I've paid the most attention to. These would include Park Hyatt's, which are among the most luxurious. They've got this minimalist approach to luxury living that I really like. You've got Grand Hyatt's and Hyatt Regencies, which are more business-like, more standard. You'll find them in a lot of major cities around the world. You've got something like Andes and JDV, Joie de Vivre by Hyatt, which are sort of like boutique hotels that have a bit more character to them. And finally, Alila Hotels. Let's go take a look around. Alila is a small chain of luxury hotels and resorts inspired by awesome destinations around the world, such as this property right here in Wujin in China, inspired by the traditional scenic water town of Wujin not too far from here. enjoyed our little introduction to the World of Hyatt Loyalty Program and Hyatt Hotels in general, as well as this little tour of the Alila Wujen right here. If so, please do hit the like button down below and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video and let me know in the comments, are you going to get started with Hyatt Hotels yourself? Maybe get the Chase Hyatt Visa as part of your US credit card strategy. Let me know and I'll see you in the next video. I've been expanding my hotel horizons recently. Do 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 do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Now besides Hyatt Privé, do 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 do. Now right now the welcome bonus. <clears throat> now right now the welcome.